You really believe we can just switch out our lives? The decisions we've already made this late in the game? I mean, you really think we can change? What makes you believe you'll be able to acclimate back into society competently without reoffending? I'm sitting here before you both today, a fully rehabilitated person, without a doubt. Um, I've taken ownership for my wrongdoings in the past, and my good behaviour in here and my letter of support acknowledges that. What specific plans do you have upon release? If we grant you parole. I plan to start a new life for myself. In a more rural area. And then I just look forward to giving back to the community. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I would really appreciate it if you could find it in your hearts to grant me this opportunity to start an honest life for myself. That's all I want. We'll take everything under consideration. Thank you so much for your time. Just drop me a line, huh, Playboy? We'll get up when I get out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, come on, faster. This thing's piling up. Let's go.
the only job you could find. Yeah. I, I've been in prison before, so that makes it hard to get a job. This is just a one-time thing, cool? Yeah. No, that's cool. I'm like... Look, I'm just, I'm looking after you, okay? No, you're, you're not young, looking after you're me. Young. You're micromanaging just, me. Like just I'm... calm down, all right? I just want you to go and do your job, all right? I'm doing my job! All right, just calm down. All right. Hello? Yeah, can I speak to motherfucking Patrick, please? Who is this? Now, don't break my heart. I just got out, man. Haha, <laughs> Dolph. Yeah, I'm finally up out of there. I heard you was in LA. Hello? That's, that's cool, man. Um, Let me know when you get out here and I'll show you around. Hell yeah, you will. Shit, everything good over there? Shh, could be worse. That plan you talked about, let's do it. It's time to make some money, man. You ever changed a bit? Hey, baby, people don't change, man. <laughs> Shit. You know, smoking's actually illegal in outdoor seating areas in LA. For real? Hey, they're gonna have more than smoke to worry about after we finish with their asses, right? <laughs> hey, but this place is nice as shit, though. Yeah, it's nice. I wonder where they get all this goddamn money from. Just people using people out here, man. So hmm. it is. Well, we're gonna fit right on in. Oh, yeah. What you been up to, bro? <sighs> Just, you know, trying to. Keep to the straight and narrow. So you'd rather be broke and stay broke instead of making some quick fuck you cash? Now that's the real prison. I know the real you. Damn criminal just like me. Come on, man. You ain't seen your boy in a minute. Just indulge me. I don't know. Maybe get close to one of these trophy wives until you have access to a rich husband's money. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. You're a great artist, man. No hesitation. There's a lot of them out here, man. Don't know how good they got it. Check it out. Get them to commit. They have something to lose right there. Throw them in the back of a van. Husband forks over the door. We good. Easy money. Man, we be set for the long haul, man. I'm not going back to that life because, hey, it's life if we get caught. Man, fuck prison. I'm with you on that. But don't forget you had me protecting you in there, man. And like you said, you owe me. Your word. You're talking about kidnapping. Do you know what that means? Ain't nothing gonna happen to nobody. Believe me. Didn't I make sure ain't nothing happen to you in prison? Huh? Yes or no? Yeah. Bet. Now, partner, when I get back, we're going to have to get the fuck up out of here because we ain't paying for this. <laughs> hey, look. We're going to need some upfront money, too. It felt so real at the time. He had really convinced me that we were in love. I had no idea that people were capable of such terrible things.
Dude, what were you on break? Here, here. <laughs> See that? Other end of the room. It's Jimmy Sales and his wife Jenna. How'd you pick these two? <sighs> Seem like pretty shitty people we could do with some humbling. Hmm. What about the asshole? What does he do? <sighs> what the hell is that it? It's like a music producer or something. Definitely an asshole. What about the broad? Actress. She's got. A couple of credits, but nothing big. Hmm. Sounds easy enough, wouldn't it? When he goes to the bathroom, I'm gonna go over there, say that I recognize her from something, introduce myself as a young, successful agent who'd like to you know, get her some meetings, give her a call by the end of the week, and uh, take her for a drink, and yeah, the rest should be pretty easy, theoretically. Hmm. That's some cold-blooded shit. <laughs> then it's my turn. What's your idea? Uh, I was thinking um, maybe we could get out of town for the weekend? I mean, yeah. I'm mean, sure I could come up with some kind of story. Make something happen. You like it? Uh, this isn't your wife. What the, who the hell is this? Uh, look, man, you don't know who I am, but I've been having an affair with your wife. Something's happened to her, and there was a note. I gave her. She gonna be out a couple more hours. She gonna be all right? Yeah, man. You all right? Get a second thought some shit? Are there any side effects? Vomiting or whatever. Should be all new by the time she head back to Brentwood for Pilates. It's the ransom note. You talk to the husband? 
Yeah, man, he's on his way. Son's scared shitless. He's got the money, though. Well, there it is. Time to get paid, lover boy. What the hell is that for? Just in case. You're not starting to actually feel for these bitches, are you? Just don't do anything stupid. Let's get the money, get back to LA. Bring the money? Yeah, I got the money. Dude, I hope you do something like this to me. Here's a note. The ransom note. Where is it? James? Yeah. Yeah, uh, you want to come inside and I'll show you where I found the note? You got the money? Uh, yeah. In hundreds, like you said. Where the fuck is she? What the I, fuck has been going on? I don't know, I don't know. I just, if we just uh, follow the instructions... I can only come up with most of it. Okay. Uh, no, no, you hang on to that for now. You want to come inside? I'll show you where I found the note. This is our daughter's college education. find this is there and how long have you known my wife um about two months look um i've only got about forty five hundred dollars in my bank account yeah i'll take care of it Uh, which car are we taking? We're not gonna take the Porsche. Take the beater. Remember where they said to go? Yeah.
big fucking rock. He was very handsome, very sweet, very charming. I thought we were really in love. What a piece of shit. <laughs> I just feel sorry for that next poor girl. Congratulations, motherfucker. Hey, we're on our way to having a couple trophy wives ourselves. Question. You may proceed. When the girl's in the van. Yeah. I don't know, do you do anything to them beyond what we talk about? What you mean you like? Do I rape him? Well, yeah. The third one I did. <laughs> hey, man, I'm just fucking with you, dog. Come on, man. It's not funny, man. Man, look. You find that next one yet?
I'm not doing it anymore, man. The fuck you mean? I'm done. It's wrong, man. We've been pushing our luck far enough. We should, we should just quit while we're ahead. And then do what? What you want to do? You want to do a different kind of job? I don't know. I just, just don't want to terrorize these people anymore. Look, you said it yourself, man. These motherfuckers deserve it. I don't know. You said it. All right, look, one more. We do one more, and then you can go back to wherever it is the fuck you was doing before this shit. Man, we can be set for years, man. Come on, huh? Don't you ever, you know, think that all of this might come back around? Consequences are for motherfuckers that get caught. We're not getting caught. But, like, does your conscience you know, ever bother you? Morality is some man-made bullshit. Shit's for suckers, man. What the hell do you believe in that? Survival of the fittest. They're having a good goddamn time. Fuck, man, you kill me with this shit. Man, get that money, go invest in some stocks or something, man. And look at it this way. Man, you won't even have to owe me no more. We'll be done. Now, come on, now. Huh? I gotta sit here and beg a motherfucker make some money? There you go. Man the fuck up. Go to the bathroom back there if you want to go fix your dress or something. What can I do for you? Four roses, soda, and a lime, please. Four roses, soda, lime. Gotcha. I'll be right back. Can I have a couple of those as well? And a gray goose and soda, please. Four roses, soda, gray goose. All right. Be right back. Can I help you with something? Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. Uh, excuse me, uh, who are they? It's Frank Emerson. Who's Frank Emerson? Frank Emerson, big tech guy. They come here all the time. Know her name? Uh, Rebecca, Becky, Bridget. I don't know, one of those white girl names. <laughs> cool. Thanks, man. Oh, yeah, no problem. Last burner. Numbers on the back. Cool. I think Rebecca's the one. The one? The last one. Fuck Rebecca, man. This Frank Emerson, you say he's a big tech guy, whatever. Ain't this the type of shit we've been waiting on? It's about time we double down on this ransom. Yeah, just let me worry about Mrs. Emerson first. Do your thing, Playboy. Do your thing. I'm gonna hit that and get that. Excuse me. You've been staring. Um, uh, again. <laughs> you don't like it? No, I don't. It's actually making me really uncomfortable. May I? What are you doing? You crazy? I'll go crazy if I don't see you again. You already are crazy. My husband's coming back any second. Come on, seriously. Look, look, look. If, if you just give me your number, I'll leave. I don't even know you. Joseph. Joe. Well, you have a lot of nerve, Joseph. I'm married. I know, and you're also very beautiful. Boy. But you say that a lot. You're not half as charming as you think you are, Joseph. I'm gonna give you my number, and if you change your mind, you can call me. If not, it's fine. Okay, fine. Just hand it over. Give it to me and leave. You gonna call me? I'm gonna call, call you. Oh, just take it. Just take it. It's lovely meeting you. Bye. Have a good night. Patrick, sounds like you in there. Maybe. Definitely a tough one, though, that's for sure. You sound like a fucking schoolgirl. 
What, you like her or something? What? No. Well, it sounds like you like her. Oh, I know number, man. This could be her. Shh. Hey, don't fuck it up, man. We asking for more money this time. Not many men would have the balls to come up to me in public, let alone demand my phone number while my husband is in the bathroom. It, it was effective. What does your husband do? Frank? Why? Uh, I'm just curious. Uh, Frank is... Well, he's, he makes a lot of money. He's smart and extremely private. Mm -hmm. And he has gone to considerable lengths to keep it that way. So, very wealthy man who doesn't like attention. That's very on L.A. of him. Yeah, that's not the only thing he doesn't want these days. Let's not talk about your husband anymore. What? Well, out. I was thinking, um, would you want to maybe get out of town or something for a few days? And go where? Have you ever been to Big Bear? And what would we do there? Well, we <laughs> could do whatever you want. OK. Let's go to Big Bear. I think you're ass in love or something. What are you talking about, man? I've got to ride where I want it. And what the fuck taking so long? I'm almost there. Shit, I can't tell. With the last couple ones, you've been getting pretty rough. Yeah, I know. And what about it? I'm not running a fucking daycare. This ain't no hospice. We fucking kidnapping her. No, I'm just saying that Rebecca's finally agreed to go to Big Bear with me, so if you just don't mind taking it easy on her when she's in your possession. How about this? You drug and kidnap her. Clean up the piss, the vomit, sit in the goddamn van all day. While well, I go do the fucking, the cuddling and laying up. Huh? How about it? This one off, man. I'm down. Oh, no, no, no. Definitely not calling this one off. Mm -mm.
whatever happens, I just, I want to be with you and I'll give up the things that I have here and everything. This isn't your wife. Who the hell is this? Look, Rebecca and I have been having an affair. I swear to God, I am going to kill you. We left LA a day ago. I woke up this morning, I went for a run, I just got back and she's not here. And there was a note. <coughs> 50,000 in cash or she dies. Tell no one or she dies. It's got an address. It says, bring money and her phone, 7 a.m. Where's this note? wife's cheating on me with you and I'm sitting here sharing a bottle with you. <laughs> Make no sense. Look, uh, we need to talk about what we're gonna do tomorrow. Ooh. Oh! Oh! Too, right? She's just a manipulative bitch anyway.
You don't know that yet. You ain't learned that yet. But I have. Oh, hell, it don't matter. We all end up alone anyway. We got to go to the bank. And the money's in the back. No, we want to see her first. No. The fucking blindfold on. Keys. Here, tie this around your waist. Tight. Do you have the money? Yes. That's the least you could do. Now! Pop the chance up there. Frank! Frank! Help! Frank, help! 
when you think that you know someone, I mean really know someone that you want to be with, and you find out they've been lying to you the whole time, I don't know what to say about him. I don't know where he could be. Why don't you tell me something about him? Why can't you find him? Is there anything else you can tell me? He felt so real at the time. He had really convinced me that we were in love. I had no idea that people were capable of such terrible things. I'll describe him for you as best I can. The guy in the van. Uh, the most of the time he was wearing a mask. He was a black guy. And I was most of the time blindfolded. How do people even become such animals? He even took my wedding ring. I just feel sorry for that next poor girl. Can you tell us anything, anything at all? A name. I told you everything that I know. I don't want to keep reliving this anymore. I just want you to find them. I know, and we will. Look, thank you for coming in, okay? It really does help, a lot. <laughs> All four victims have one major thing in common. It's the same lover. This guy takes each and every one of them on these romantic getaways where they're kidnapped, right? He, uh, he contacts their husband for the ransom. The ransom note says if you contact the police, she's dead. Here's three separate sketches from three different victims. Sierra Nevada, San Simeon, Ojai, Palm Desert. It's the same guy. Find a match. You find this creep yet? Not yet. The only way to draw these guys out is to set them up by going undercover. Elaborate, detective. Well, we become their next marks. Dress up in the fancy clothes. We've got the rich husband, Frank. We make them believe that they're conning us. Get them vulnerable, you know? Make them believe in the illusion. And then when the time is right, we move in. All the victims met this guy at high-end restaurants, mostly Brentwood, Beverly Hills. We target this guy when he's on the prowl for his next victim. And that's when we assume our roles as rich husband and wife. Tell me why we shouldn't just save the department time and money and take this guy down now. These guys are too smart, sir. We have to catch him in the act, both of them. I mean, the guy in the van who's drugging these women, we have to get him. Yes, sir, I do agree with that. Go on. The crimes are happening outside of the county. I mean, technically, if we bust them, we have to catch him in the act, right? But. More importantly... That they're within our county so we can make the arrest. You're sure about this? Yes, sir. And you're all right with this, Frank? Yes, sir. Well, then get on it before the feds get lit. I don't want them taking credit for this. Yes, sir. Hold on. <clears throat> Tell me more about this shed guy. Uh, well, Patrick Shedd, he, uh, his father relocated the family to the States when he got a new job. Uh, shortly after that, he made some bad investments, went bankrupt. Mother uh, leaves his father for his business partner, disappears. His father sinks into a deep depression, alcoholism, suffers an untimely death, leaving a young Patrick to fend for himself. 18, he slides into a life of petty crime, all nonviolent offenses. 14 years and several small convictions, he's sent to Lompoc. He spends about two and a half years there. He just got released on good behavior. He's teamed up with what we think is a known associate, and they've been pulling these cons ever since.
What are we doing, man? What the fuck are you doing? You got too sloppy. You're falling for the mark. Give me the burner. Taking the rest. <laughs> now get the fuck out. You serious? Is this your plan all along? Get it to yourself. <sighs> You're really doing this? Don't make me say it again. Good work, detective. It's not over yet. But go home. Get some sleep. No chance. We have our proof. Let's go make the arrest. Let us know when they land. I want to wrap this up. Yes, sir. Detective? Tim. Does he still buy your cover? Yeah. Answer? Joe, is that you? <sighs> There's a few things that I haven't really been up front with you about. I really would prefer to tell you in person. I'm at Union Station. I'm going to go to a motel near the airport tomorrow and I'll give you a call then. I look forward to seeing you. Bye. Ciao. Everything okay? He's at Union Station. Leaves tomorrow, LAX. Well, GPS just landed at the toy district. How accurate is that? Accurate? Patrick's Shed's lying. He's just trying to throw us off. Hold up. You're going to stay here on this one. Get some rest. Saddle up. Take it easy. Excuse me, sir. Just a minute. I need to talk to you. Sir? Hey, stop! Stop! LAPD! Stop!
Hey, it's me. I'm at the Buena Vista Hotel near the airport. Yep. Room 406. Okay. See you soon. Good morning. Was that him? Is done. 126, all units proceed with caution. Hello, Patrick? Are you there? It's me. Hello? Ten twenty six room now. Are you sure he gave you the right room number? I can't run forever. I'm uh, sorry that we only got the one. Now, you did some really good work here, Rebecca. I'm gonna recommend you for a promotion and I'm gonna make sure that you get it. Thank you, sir. Now we're officially turning this case over to the Bureau. So you can go home. Spend some time with your family.
take you to uh, another special place when we get back <laughs> another time. What's wrong with this place? Nothing. There's nothing wrong with this place. Just, um, it's like a little resort. I've just never felt this way about anyone before, and I really do like you. You really believe we can just switch out our lives? The decisions we've already made this late in the game? I mean, you really think we can change? We certainly can't have it both ways.
Patrick.